Hey guys, it's chow time, and today we are making this cranberry apple side dish compote. So let's get started. We are going to wash our cranberries, and you see some of my orange skins in there too. Gotta wash those also. So get those cranberries into a big bowl of water, and of course they float because they're grown in water. It's called a bog, but we still have to wash them and pick out any cranberries that look funny. So here you see me peeling another, well this is a tangerine, but you can use one big orange or two small tangerines, whatever you have in your house, or take it out completely if you don't like it. We love it. So we're gonna add it. So I'm just gonna peel this the best I can, and we're gonna give those a good wash. And while you're washing, you really want to pick through and pick out anything that looks mushy, anything that's not a, a bright or deep red color, anything that's not firm. See, here's one here. Gross. And, uh, yep, get out of here. And really make sure you want to scrub everything. I wash everything as many times as I possibly can. Look, here's another one. And I only had two. So... What we're also going to need to make our compote is some vanilla, some sugar, some cinnamon, and some water. There's some measurements for you, and of course an apple, and that orange that we peeled earlier. So we're going to peel our apple. That's me peeling stuff again. I love peeling apples because, well, I failed, but I like to see if I can get it all off in one skin, and I could not. Of course, if I had my husband do it. It would all came off in one go. There's me taking off the bottom skin and the top skin. You don't have to be super perfectionist about it. I'm going to give that a good scrub. And we're just going to let all that soak. Now over here on the stove, we're going to take our orange skins and our sugar and our water and get those on a high heat to boil. Now, if you're always confused about how to cut, here's a little apple cutting trick. Um, I let my daughter cut apples this way. Yes, she does use a knife, but she was not here with me. Everybody in my house was sick. So it was just me cooking for the holidays. But yeah, you want to cut out the core, and that is, of course, a chef's neck, so eat it. That's what I did. Then we are going to slice our apples. You can cube them as big or as small as you want. Keep your hand in that C claw shape because it keeps all your fingers out of the way of the blade. So we're going to cut those. You can cut them smaller. I mean, I don't know why you would cut them bigger, uh, but we like big chunks of apple. So we, I cut them pretty big here. Um, and you're going to cut those vertically first, then turn it 90 degrees and cut across horizontally. And like I said, cut them as big or as small as you like. We like them kind of chunky. We like to see them. We like to taste them. And they just lend really good flavor. So over here you see our sugar and our cinnamon boiling. Um, oh yeah, I added that cinnamon stick while it was boiling. We're gonna add the cranberries and the apples to that mixture and get everything coated with that deliciously infused, I guess it's a syrup at this point. Um, and we're gonna let that cook on a medium high heat for about five minutes or so. So they start to burst open like this. When you can start to, you can hear them popping too. They go, yeah. And it's like, oh, super satisfying. So get those all pushed down underneath of the liquid. And you want to let the, you want to turn it down at this point. So right now it's on a medium heat. You don't want it to boil over. You don't want it to get bitter. And just keep giving those a stir. You don't have to babysit this really. Um, we're going to let those cook on that medium heat for about another 10 minutes or so because we really want those apples to kind of give a little bit. We don't want them to lose their shape. Or if they're smaller, you can go ahead and let them lose their shape, whatever. So we are going to add that vanilla. I add it towards the end so it doesn't really lose a lot of its flavor, but it does kind of have to cook. And that's me squeezing in the orange juice from that orange juice sauce sitting over there. I'm just going to let that stir and cook down on a medium low heat for another 10 minutes until you're happy with the way your apples look and you know like I said don't babysit it once it gets to this point though guess what we're done I put it into an old jelly jar 
and that's it on the table and that is it guys it took about 25 minutes very easy doesn't require a lot from you and let me tell you how good it is enjoy